In small pupil we follow our four steps but with some modification in the crochet technique we have to do it in four directions. Um, so first we have to check the machine. The most important thing is to make the posterior focus and the pulse to be uh, one and the power nearly uh, three millijoules. The patient we have to make sure that um, the um, cataract surgery has been more than six months to avoid any cystoid macular edema and uh, the dilating drops, the anesthetic drops, the aprocronidine to prevent any uh, spikes of the intraocular pressure. You have to warn the patient about the most common side effects is the floaters. It might take long time uh, to resolve. In cases of small pupil, the preferred technique is doing a crochet opening because this will prevent any flaps in the central area in the visual axis of the patient and the most important thing in small pupil to avoid injury of the pupillary border so we start at 12 o'clock and then go down to avoid pitting of the central part of the uh, intraocular lens and while we go down the focus of the laser will be behind the lens and this will prevent pitting so we have an op a central opening and we can enlarge this opening on both sides from the center to the periphery to have the diamond shaped opening but because of the small pupil we have to make sure that this opening is large enough so we can tell the patient to look in, four, in the four directions up and to the right down and to the left to make more enlargements if needed After you do your central crochet, you instruct the patient to look to the right and see the edge if needs more enlargement and then to look up and to look down and to look to the uh, left side and if you see an area that needs enlargement you can add more laser to it and this is pre and post and the patient is happy with his vision now thank you for watching